All right, hello everyone, my name is Sam Berenji. Um, I'm with Molex, one of the field applications engineers. Uh, I'm excited to be here and talk with you all today. Uh, we're excited to be here with Ravi. Uh, we're gonna hello everyone. Yeah. We're, we're gonna talk about our re most recent collaboration with AMD, um, and then we'll uh, review all of Molex's extended portfolio on OCP solutions. So, Ravi, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Ravi Bengi. Uh, I am the platform architect at AMD. So we have a booth in B9, so where we are demoing some um, AMD SP5 socket platforms. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the platform, uh, which is uh, DC MHS form factor. Uh, this is a two socket uh, system with uh, one dimper channel. Uh, we collaborated with Molex on uh, the development of this platform. You know, so Molex has been a great partner for us. Um, in, uh, in the development of this system. Um, so the system has um, the, the two AMD sockets with um, uh, 24 DIMMs uh, on the, it, it follows all the tenants of uh, DC MHS modularity, whether it is like DC SEM or MXIO connectors or on the near edge or M, um, 1026 connectors on the far edge, the MPIC connectors, all the subsystems uh, on the power side, you know, we have MCRPS connector, so it follows all the modularity tenets of the DC MHS. In addition to the MFLW T1 system that you are seeing here, we also have a DNO T8. We have the representation in the booth from uh, uh, the platform architecture and mechanical side. Uh, so uh, we, we are glad to demo this system in the booth. So please stop by at AMD uh, B9 booth to know more about the system. Um, this is essentially um, the platform. And I'll uh, over to you, Sam, you know, if, you. if you want to talk about more on the connectors and subsystems. Thank you very much, Ravi. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so continuing talking about Nearstack a little bit, uh, as Ravi mentioned, uh, my friend from AMD. So Nearstack is under SFF TA1026. Uh, it's a Molex solution that exceeds PCIe Gen 6 performance. Uh, it's a paddle cardless design uh, that's allowing for uh, due to optimal uh, manufacturing process showing best in class SI performance. Uh, it's also enabling mechanical advantages, allowing lowest, ma lowest mated height um, that DCMHS recommends, as well as allowing up to 40 newtons of wrench testing, active wrench testing without any SI compromises. Um, so it's a really robust solution. It's a very uh, mechanically and SI robust solution that we're proud to be representing. Um, it's an enabled solution with key developers, uh, including AMD and, uh, and Dell as well. Um, it's, a, it's, it's an adopted market industry uh, uh, connector, so we're really excited to be having this in our portfolio. Uh, so Nearstack's design allows for the same PCB header to be used with several different cable options for extended application uses. So if you have a vertical exit or a um, angled exit or a right angle exit, it's the same PCB connector that you could be used. Um, and it allows for multiple applications, multiple flexibility that you could be uh, allowing there. So there's two versions. There's the legacy version that we're calling it. There's also another one that includes an extra side uh, pair of high-speed twin acts, so to be a flex I/O compliant um, with DCMHS. So we have multiple multiple versions of this that are available to adopt any of your uh, any any of your industry needs. So as we see Nearstack being adopted in the market, we have an extended product family developing from Nearstack. So as I mentioned, we have the legacy Nearstack, so that's TA1026. Under TA1026, we have the XIO version. Um, so that's the version of the cable that has an extra pair of twin acts enabled. Um, beyond there, we have a dual bay version. So you have two full by eight lanes of uh, Nearstack PCIe performance going through one single connector. Um, so compacting the design, bringing it all together, and just optimizing our design and performance for, uh, for everyone in the market. Uh, being adopted further beyond that is Kickstart. Kickstart is under TA1036. Uh, Kickstart uses the same mechanical design mechan uh, and SI performance of Nearstack. So taking that same design, we included power with it. It's a by four connection point, plus the power. It's the optimized boot peripheral connector of choice. So Connecting all these, uh, all these points together, you have one three-in-one compassing connector that can perform all together for your, uh, your boot drives. So we're really proud to have Nearstack in our uh, portfolio. It's, we see it being extended day by day. It's being adopted more and more. Um, and it's a much superior connection point to, due to no paddle card, so it's 
you get much more better uh, SI performance and mechanical robustness. Beyond near stack and beyond high speed, Molex is fully committed to supporting DCMHS. We're proud to be representing a full suite of products to supporting all HPMs within OCP. So all your T1s to your T8s, all the different classes. We have a full suite of applications and solutions to be, per, to be supporting all of, your, uh, all of your OCP needs. So <clears throat> as you mentioned with XIO, you know, the near stack PCIe under 1026 um, that enables the flex IO. We also have MPIC connectors, so infrastructure connectivity and PSU support. Molex has all the solutions that you really need. Um, the MPIC and the CRPS specs support all your power needs. So with Molex's trusted manufacturing, processes and our history of top line quality, plus our, quick our Kickstart and Pico Class and Pick Power connectors. Uh, we could be a really trusted and proved out kind of vendor of choice for uh, all, your, all your needs. So this is kind of encompassing your, your basic motherboard, right? So if you look all around it, you have your, your PSUs, you have your Pick Power, you have your boot peripheral on top, and then you have your, uh, your high speed of choice on the bottom. Um, so you can see all around the motherboard that we're really representing and offering a full suite of solutions supporting all of your needs for the entire motherboard. So we're really proud to be a one-stop shop for all of our partners and customers. Um, we're happy to support all of our extended uh, product families, and we're, we're, we're really happy to be here and presenting our uh, latest offerings with, uh, with, you, with you all. So thank you all very much for your time today. I'm excited to be here with you guys, uh, both on our booth, booth B1, and AMD's booth B9. Uh, we have prototypes and demos of these reference designs of all these connectors that we've talked about. Um, please come by and check them out. We'll, uh, we have multiple examples here. We have one actually here so on board. This, yeah. This is uh, a mechanical representation of the board we are going to show in our um, AMD booth uh, B9. So it's a working demo. You can see the LTPI in operation and open BMC and uh, system uh, implementation of MFLWT1. Thank you all very Thank much. Um, if there's any questions, we are happy to be taking any questions here. Thank you, guys. Thank you all very much. Thanks, everybody.